Joshua Parker here with healthharmonic.com and today I'm going to show you our latest product which is the Silver Nano Ionizer. And this is a really awesome product. I've I've been extremely excited to do this video to share this with you because this device is is capable of turning normal distilled water or any sort of ultra purified water into a very high quality ionic silver which actually technically qualifies as a nano silver hydrosol and this is this kind of puts it in a league uh, that's really much more scientific than most of the other really generators that that you'll find out there and this has to do with the fact that this device creates a an ionization column which is very precise now when you look at other colloidal silver generators out there and you know you can make colloidal silver with just a few a couple silver wires and a and a few batteries to get a significant voltage uh, some nine volt batteries. That's the the crudest way. Uh, add a light bulb in, and you know you can you can get a increase the uh, the quality a little bit. But all those type of generators, and you know really most of what you'll find out there on the market, is is not going to have a consistently sized uh, ionization column like what this device does nor is it going to be pulsing the silver electrode with a such a precise amount of of pulsed current that it can create these tiny nano sized ions of silver consistently throughout the entire process of making a batch of the silver and and so that's what makes this so unique and the fact that you can do it in in the comfort of your own home and do it day after day and create quite a bit of this silver uh this this silver nano hydrosol uh for literally for the cost of whatever the water that you're using and i'm going to talk about the choice of water and how to make good decisions on what type of water to use as well in this video so 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 that's that's what i wanted to show you here or i wanted to talk about here um, and the other cool thing about this device is that it it has a ppm conductivity meter that is ultra precise it reads down to hundredths of a ppm part per million and that means that it it'll see you'll be able to see what your source water that you're using starts out at and build from there so that's the key to making the best quality silver hydrosol is to be able to know what the water starts at because these days you can buy distilled water in a bottle at you know a grocery store and if you don't know the source of it and you're not familiar with that brand and their level of quality control and all that kind of stuff then you'll really you don't know necessarily what you're buying and unless you test it with some with a device like this um, even a, a, um, a meter like this, PPM meter, won't really show you the type of data that you can get from even from this device, the silver nano ionizer. And, and part of the reason is that these do require calibration. And uh, also most of the PPM meters don't measure more than just one ppm so it's like if you're trying to measure whether your the, the water you start with is at like 0.8 or 1.1 parts per million of dissolved solids you're not going to see that with a meter like this whereas with 
something like this, you will see it. And that's what's going to determine the quality of, of silver that you can produce. Because if you start out with a bunch of dissolved solids in the water, then basically that's what you're building from. So the, the lower the number is when you start, the, the better product that you're going to create because the higher percentage is going to be your silver nano ions. And let's get into the, the idea of, this, of these nano ions because these days nano is kind of a, a term that tends to be a, a negative term. Like you hear about like various uh, drugs and things that are that are using nano sized particles to you know spread throughout the body and in a lot of cases this can be a, a negative thing uh, in the case of making the best silver though we want the ions as small as possible because that way they can they can get where they need to go and do their work and uh, the purpose of this video is not really to um, get into what silver is used for and different things like that because since I'm selling this device um, I, I really can't talk about that kind of stuff in a video like this uh, or it would be too controversial and uh, that's why I'll save that for uh, for other videos where we can cover that kind of that kind of information but the the point though is that when you have smaller ions in the on the level of nano sized ions in a solution which is approximately five parts per million which is what this device will produce then you you can pack that many more ions in that five ppm or five parts per million and literally get billions of ions into your solution and and that's the key to making an effective silver solution is to have billions of charged ions and that's another key is that they need to be charged they need to be active and and that's that's what this produces is a a, a charged ion of nano sized particles, uh, tiny, tiny silver ions throughout the solution. And there will be a tiny amount of, uh, of larger particles that pretty much come at the end. Um, and, and then of course, it's, a, it's an important thing to, uh, to clean the electrodes right after with the green scrubby that, that comes with it. Uh, so that way it'll be clean for next time then just let it dry and then and then by the time you're ready to use it next time it'll be ready to go uh, it, it's easier to clean when you clean it right right away you don't want to filter it though that's that's key because filtering it can uh, lose some of those ions to whatever you're filtering with of course it it, it depends what you're what you're filtering with but the the key is another key is that you don't want to use any metal in the um, you know like you don't want to use a metal funnel you don't want to use a metal lid and you want to store your you want to store your your finished silver hydrosol in at least like an amber glass bottle or some something like this in order to preserve the integrity because light and you know light and heat will affect it uh, it doesn't need to be stored in the refrigerator in fact you want to avoid temperature changes so ideally just room temperature consistent temperature uh, the shelf life of a high quality silver nano hydrosol like this is about a year. And I, I've used some solutions that were, were older than a year and I still found them to be pretty effective actually. 
uh, but the approximately a year is is about the the time frame for the best effect for the the highest charge that you're going to have on the solution i mean the silver doesn't go away it's it's still going to be there but the the best charge you're going to get off of it is going to be for the in the first year so uh, let's talk a little bit about water because water is such an important factor and then we'll get into the you know the, using the the device and how to set it up but that's pretty quick and pretty easy uh, i i've been doing this for a long time i i have a large actually commercial production system uh, which was invented by the same uh, created and invented by the same inventor of uh, the silver nano ionizer uh, who unfortunately passed away so he's no longer with us but that's why i'm so excited still to be able to bring this amazing invention to you uh, but the 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 large system that i have it you know is is great for uh, for local uh, production and and spreading around my community and i had kind of intended a about on creating a, a product for distribution as well, you know, but I, I prefer to put this kind of stuff into your hands so you can make it where, where you are. And part of the reason for that is that, I mean, it's, it's a liquid, it's expensive to ship, you know, and it, so it's heavy and plus shipping glass is kind of, can be hard to do. Um, so so that's that's another reason that i really feel like it's very important to put this in your hands and let you give you the power to make such a high quality silver nano hydrosol yourself and that way you know when you need it you all you need is just a good source of water and as i create more videos like this I'm going to get deeper into water and also uh, in the future how to create your own water as well uh, from local sources because there are there are some things you can do it's you can't use tap water you can't just use uh, I mean obviously people do but those in my my understanding is those are the kind of people that you see in those in the headlines like guy turns blue from colloidal silver you know it's from making low quality silver and that's from tap water that's got all sorts of dissolved solids and all those dissolved solids react with the with the silver and create silver oxides and you know, and all these other com compounds that are not silver ions. So that's what we want to avoid. And that's why ultra pure water is what we want to use to, to make this. Now, if you have your own distiller and it's a good one, that's one way to go. You can make your own distilled water. Um, and then there's also ways of using reverse osmosis and deionization in order to create a very high quality ultra purified water so but we'll get into that in, in future videos for now i'm going to talk about sourcing water now i've been sh shopping for years for distilled water and testing it to see you know how the how the quality varies and what i've found is that it varies a lot you know um it, it, but the label on it if you look carefully you can actually learn a lot about where it comes from and uh, from where it comes from you can actually get some insight especially since i'm telling you this on this video uh, about you know what to buy and 
I've been finding that there's some consistent brands that are good quality. And I mean, still, you're gonna, when you use a device like this, you're gonna be testing it as you do it, and you're gonna see where it starts. So the, the, st the, the interesting thing is that this, this is one of the local um, rebranded uh, products this is from a Winco Foods uh, local grocery, uh, Oregon, Oregon grocery. Uh, but I've also found pretty much the same from, from Bymart, which is another Oregon company, branded with their brand on it and low quality distilled water. Uh, I don't recommend it. Um, I would say be highly skeptical of a of any product probably that has the store's brand on it, because what I've found is that most of those products are are low quality. Uh, they test on average like 1.1 1 .1 dis of uh, ppm dissolved solids, uh, so we don't want to start that high. We want it to be lower, at least like point eight or, or somewhere around 0.8 uh, is kind of my minimum or mac yeah, maximum threshold. Uh, and, and what I've found is that there are uh, a few brands that are actually produced in the same facility in Atlanta, Georgia. Um, it's interesting because the, uh, the low quality stuff that I've found is from Idaho. Uh, I don't know why, what the significance is of where these these come from, but um, but the the high quality stuff I'm finding this uh, this nice brand, um, which is like I said from Atlanta, Georgia, and also this uh, crystal brand. Um, also from Atlanta, Georgia. These are both from, they're bottled by DS Services of America in Atlanta, Georgia. And they seem to be doing pretty good quality control because what I'm finding is that those, number one, I mean, Nice or Crystal, it's the same product, just a different label slapped on the bottle. And and uh, these seem to test right around 0.8 to start. So I've been making a, a good quality uh, silver hydrosol with that. And, uh, and, and so that's what I would look for when you're looking for water to start with. Uh, definitely look for that, that DS uh, brand, this DS services of america in atlanta georgia and that that should help you get started at least and and then if you see some other brands you know just pick them up and test them and you'll you'll be able to see what they start at and and then be able to determine if they're if they're worth it if you find anything that's like 0.5 then that's like the ticket that's <laughs> that's what you really want and it used to be a lot easier to find stuff like that and it, it seemed like in early mid 2020 uh, there were there was all this weird demand supply demand kind of changes going on and people were trying to store stuff and people were buying more bottled water and and that's when there there was high demand for this kind of water even distilled water and it seems like quality control started really dropping and the reason that this is is that when when these distillers are um, ramping up their production if they turn up the heat they're literally bubbling their distillation systems harder and when they overboil a distiller, then contaminants get through into the distillation column. And that's what causes the parts per million in the distilled water in the first place. 
because technically if it's truly distilled water that's not ruined from overboiling, then there'd be zero parts per million. There shouldn't be anything in it. It should be just, just what's left after it's boiled, which shouldn't bring any contaminants in it. But the real world, that doesn't quite happen. So, uh, so you know, the point is, is that you'll just, you'll be testing it with this, with this device and, uh, and be able to know what, what you're buying. So the way this works is really simple. There, on the bottom here, you have, you, so you put your distilled water in, in here and, and then you put your vortex stirrer into the, uh, in, in the water and then you turn on the magnetic stirrer and it's and it creates a vortex column in in the in the system and and then you go ahead and basically you're you're dropping the the electrodes into the vortex column and then and then you're plugging it in and when you first plug it in it's it's not on yet so it's just going to show zeros and and then when you press the button then it's going to show you the initial reading you know and in this case it's it's showing 8.85 as the initial reading and then it's going to just slowly it's it's already ionizing in that ionization column and it's also mixing the solution so it's always moving the ions out of the distillate or out of the ionization column after they're created and and uh, the, by the way the reason that this produces up to five parts per million of of silver nano ions is that these ions are are really only stable up to up to about 10 parts per million and in in order to keep it ultra stable we we stop it at five and it will automatically stop at five for you so it, that way it's it's always going to produce a nice stable approximately five parts per million of uh of silver nano ions and and uh it does take you know a few hours you can you can actually do up to a gallon with with this device you can do a gallon at a time right now we're doing a half gallon it'll take a little bit longer to do a full gallon or you can just use the uh, the nice half gallon mason jar and and then uh, refill it after after it's done because it will finish faster with a with you know a smaller volume of of fluid and uh, and then once you're done then you know you can you can use a funnel and pour it out into your uh, amber glass bottles uh, uh, you can also use a magnet to take the stir out the vortex stir out of there or you can just pour it into a funnel that's small enough where it won't drop in to uh, to your bottle and that way uh, you're all done and you've got your your silver so uh, so that's pretty much what I wanted to share with you today I'm pretty sure that's yeah that pretty much covers it um, so yeah go ahead and check it out learn more at healthharmonic.com um, and get yours today it's uh you know with with as with all of our products we've we've got at least all of our products that we can make this decision on um, we have a 90-day satisfaction guarantee um, some of the time frames vary depending on the product 
but with this one we do have a 90 day satisfaction guarantee because we want you to be happy with your purchases of course and uh, I'm confident with this that you will be because it's really I, I mean I've used a lot of different I've made a number of them and I've used a lot of different silver makers over the years and this is the best one by far it makes the best product and I think you'll agree with me once you try it so uh, so check it out at healthharmonic.com and of course message me and our team if you have any questions about about this um, and um, yeah and thanks so much for watching if you found this video to be helpful go ahead and share it with your friends and all the places that your friends hang out and uh, yeah thanks again and i will see you on the other side